With its attention diverted to the chewy bonbon gummy, the Majut calms down. But Noko is still concerned. She's relieved the Majut has calmed down, but you'll need a heavier sit-tight to ride it than the one she's got. The only sit-tight she can think of that would be heavy enough is one she's spotted mounted on an old-world Mechamajut. If she remembers correctly, she spotted it at the Smilo Shopperia while scavenging for treats for the Gnotes. That's not so far away. Seems the old world had plenty to offer, an all-in-one place for those obsessed with material things. Almost too much, if you ask her. Let's see. A fall in the mountains could be fatal. You finally found the village of Bumlidoff. Rubber scrap is too much fun. So stretchy. It's time to do what's right. For certain values of right.
Milo Shopperia. Guess shopping here put a smile on your face. Super effective. Made the kill. My boxes like this are few and far between. However, that's no great loss. Talking pictures from the aforetimes lacked a message. Locked, but good. That made it all worth it. Even the feel of the air changes as you go underground. You need to line up the switches so they match. enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. Now hold on. Sit. You need to loosen the bolts without rattling the mechamajut. That's it. The sit tight is loose. Time to stop horsing around and get the sit tight back to Noko. Don't be feary, it probably won't bite.
It's in Tede, Tukonda, Kala. Now that the Majut's got a mouthful of Bon Bon Gummy and the brand new sit tight is in place, the Majut is ready to ride. Kanyala no Toro, a Sadurutu. Noko's been training another fantabulous little critter that'll hopefully become a distraction for the hoof puff when you confront it. Sana Yote, Brumble and She's called them glitter moths, and the best way to find them is to go talk to Mito. She's asked him to keep them somewhere safe. You'll find Mito at Brightlight. He's a light-headed fellow, but hopefully he'll remember where he stored the moths. They're small airborne creatures with bright reflective wings and a conspicuous fluttering flight. Whatever you do, do it right, or don't do it at all. Blasty plants up ahead. Let's see. With the world getting darker by the day, there's not much time left to save it. And even though you've just met, he feels you're bound to play a huge part in that. Figures that doesn't make it any less worth fighting. You found your way through the darkness. You shine like the sun in the sky. But will you use that power to warm the world or burn it? Hopes you see how much good you can do with power like that and how easy it is to let it drive you mad. No matter where your path takes you, though, it's important to remember where you came from. The past bright lights the present. Wonders if you know how much of an effect you've had upon the world. Your presence changes things like light changes darkness. Did you realize that when choosing where to shine? Says he can see that in the way you brighten everything up. So happy you know you're helping brighten the world. There's plenty of it that's still worth saving. Whatever happens to the world, you shone as bright as you could. That matters more than you know. Says you did the right thing in taking up with the Myriad. They buy lots of his lamps. That's a tribe that believes in the bright things in the world. It's clear you do. Nothing shines as bright as being right. Says he can see by the twinkle in your eyes that you're not here to talk about your allies. He assumes you are here to be enlightened. 
He can't blame me, was everything just feels dark and hopeless these days. There's something about you, like you're knit together, your fate's connected. What you've said, he feels too. So, why not call him me too? Don't go boiking. He senses you're like the dayfly, living every day like it's your last, afraid that when night comes, it might be proved right. The doors in Kadimbo. Believes no one is entirely dark. Even the worst have a spark of good in them. Mito says he's not only into those who shine bright, he likes things that glitter too. He reckons you haven't seen a glitter moth and says it's about time you did. Even though they're nesting near gone grass, they never run out of glow. Finding yourself a glitter moth would give you that glimmer of hope you need to continue all the way to the end. Moth glows with delight at your bright passion for the light. says to not forget to gather the glitter moths. seem to have made a new friend. They used to call this a thoroughfare. Look at all those old homes. That place there's a real fixer-upper, not an entirely lost cause. You need to swivel the Globus's bearings to get the Atlas Mapper to work. Just a few moves left. Make them count. When a story comes to you, pay attention.
shot. here matters to you and the world. Glittermoth Cave is right here. Finding things both here and there. You're in charge of that mount. Act like it.
son are you there? That's enough glitter moths to make her plan work. She wants you to stop worrying about the paths you've ridden and focus on the inevitable road ahead, the one that leads to confrontation with the World Eater. The hoof puff is evidence of the duality of evolution, utterly beautiful and grotesque at the same time. She means that the hoof puff has had more time to eat at the root as it's been isolated in the Knoopstonies mountains. So, based on that alone, she reckons it has suffered as much damage as the northwest route that's hidden beneath the surf. The rocky ridges have been called the Knoopstonies around here for as long as she can remember. It's said the stone was grey before, but somehow changed colour over time. is full of secrets waiting to be uncovered. Ride like the wind.
the ghosts are gonna head eh, eh. That sealed the fate of the third world eater. Just one more to go. Out of date asked to see you again to congratulate you and let you in on the final phases of his plan. This is your chance to get his priorities aligned with yours. Do right by your tribe and the world at large. Just head back to the Ark. He seemed eager to see you again. The underworld critters are meaner than anything. Out of date thinks the time has come to end the conflict between the tribes. There won't be any winners in this war. You should know it's not too late to change direction by visiting another tribe's fort. However, it might be best to stick with the tribe you've chosen already. He believes it'll take someone with a light perspective and key to counterbalance the Sifu's energy in the end. Regardless of the outcome, you need to play your part and conclude the conquest. It'll be over soon. Out of date reminds you that the time has come to end the tribe war. He's happy to help. Says you should take it easy. Let's see. The mountains stretch higher than the clouds. She wonders if the rumors she's heard about you finding the Ark are true. It's in she's thrilled you found one. There's nothing you can't do. With the world recovering, the Ark would be a wonderful way to see it. So much faster than even her favorite gnotes. Loves that you did your best to help the world rather than hurt it. You could have used much more of that, even before you returned. Any idea who might be joining you on your archi journeys? So, what we have here is an opportunity to help your next. There's a seat open on the Ark should you want to offer it as a gesture of appreciation. Why? You don't need anyone else but yourself and me, of course, but I'm a part of you, so that doesn't count. If you want to go quickly, go alone. If you want to go further, go together. The only one we'd want to get away quickly from here is darkness. But you know you can't go on without me. 
Even if I'm bad company, I complete you. Hmm. I think we can finally agree on something. It is better to be alone than in bad company. But best of all is being good company yourself. Feels deeply honored that you'd want her to come with you. An Ark is no ganote, but she can't pass this up. She's coming aboard. Noko knows she's known for saying things over again. Says that you should come back if there's anything else. Let's see. The beach is just beautiful. And listen to the woods when you're in them. Something or someone has made a nest here. It's a cold zone. Even a thick coat of fur is enough to keep you warm here. That's a toxinol zap station. Erfidurf outpost. The Jagni tribe claimed this forever. Let's see. There's the tyrant who runs this outpost. He didn't expect his tribe to lose as they're the ones that are ruthless, but now that you're working with their rival, he can see why. He's realized chance seems to take the side of the sharp-witted. It's their last line of defense. Once their guardian falls, they'll surrender.
The outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. Pants would be the bare minimum. He says you did a great job capturing the rival's second outpost. You've earned the privilege of wearing the tribe's colors. Believes you'll make them all proud too. There's news of a Ronin joining the tribe. That must be you. Says you should take it easy. Check out that shop area over there. 
wonder what they used to sell. Supposedly, mounts like that can smell fear. says they've been waiting for you to help them liberate the outpost. Just keep going while you can and don't stop until all outposts are under your control. Says scouts spotted a moth nest close to the outpost. If you destroy that, the moths should infest the place looking for a new home. That's the idea. If everything works out as planned, the moths should cause a buzzing tumult. Just get to it and destroy it. quieter here, away from the sky. Nice work. No more moth's nest. There go the moths toward the outpost. 
They're good and mad. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. Thinks you did a great job capturing the rival's third outpost and believes the rival is weak enough to engage them at their fort. They all hope you can lead them to peace. Make the most of the night while you can. Let's see. That's the Jagni tribe's fort. Their friendship can be a blessing or a curse. It's up to you. You're either a part of their solution to the tribe war or part of the problem. The day almost makes you want to smile. They've been waiting for you. Taking control of this fort will bring peace between your tribes. You better be. A tribe's fort is a bigger challenge than an outpost. They've positioned a storm tower near the fort that you'll use to get over the wall. However, you need to prop up its wheelhouse first to stabilize the situation. Says you don't have to knock to get inside.
It's time to set the rival tribe free. Inflict as little damage as possible as you make your way through to their Sifu. You need to unite the tribes and save the Tree of Life to truly become free. That's a fire starter. The dry grass looks like it would ignite easily. You just need to create a spark to light a fire. It burns brighter than the light. Hammering away. You're here for a reason. It's up to you to figure out what that is. That's a pyro sizzler right there. Just get to work on it. Make it frizzle. The battering bonker looks like a great way to get through the gate. Bet you just need to knock and it'll open up. History is nothing but a series of stories. That's bonkers. The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy.
He didn't expect it would go down this way. It'll be hard to talk your way out of a fight. He believes a fight won't settle who is right, just who's left. Rival Sifu is defeated, and the destiny of their tribe is in your hands. You are free to choose their fate, but not free from the consequences of your choice. He'll leave it up to you to decide the fate of the rival Sifu, but suggests you be merciful. Do good, and good will follow you. Thinks it's a good gesture to offer support to others when you can see that they need it. And with that, you're spinning your own fate, good or bad, never to be undone. Side by side they'll stand until order and stability is reinstituted. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. Your Sifu is pleased. You're one step closer to uniting the tribes. It's a pity you needed to use force to get the point across. But he's still concerned about the fate of the world. You can't lose this war. If you get the ending wrong, the effort it took to get there was in vain. A proper ending, however, provides closure. He says you've grown so much stronger than when you first met. You know better than anyone that the fate of the world is still at stake. You need a world where everyone is guided only by their conscience. The fate of the world depends on the triumph of good. The tree of life still stands, and it's up to you to make sure it does so to the end. It's the Jagni Staff. The story has got to keep moving forward. Let's see.
He's helped out of date to get the ARC hardware restored. There's just some wiring left to do before the vessel's ready for takeoff. He just needs to reroute the excessive high spark to run through the proper plug in the system so it won't break the path if it blows. Gizmo isn't sure you'll need to make use of the Ark, though. It looks like your efforts to save the tree and the world are paying off. He knows your good-hearted nature means you won't leave him behind, but you need to work on yourself if he's going to be isolated with you in the Ark. There are things you don't see eye to eye on. It's not that he doesn't care about others, but the fact that the Ark only has four extra seats means you have to be picky when choosing company. So, what we have here is an opportunity to help your next. There's a seat open on the Ark should you want to offer it as a gesture of appreciation. Why? You don't need anyone else but yourself and me, of course, but I'm a part of you, so that doesn't count. If you want to go quickly, go alone. If you want to go further, go together. The only one we'd want to get away quickly from here is darkness. But you know you can't go on without me. Even if I'm bad company, I complete you. Hm. I think we can finally agree on something. It is better to be alone than in bad company. But best of all, is being good company yourself. He's been thinking this whole thing with the Ark through and has decided he won't be joining you. First off, he isn't 100% sure he's got the wiring right and really, he doesn't think he can stand being in that enclosed space with you for long. Gizmo will always make time for you. Says you're welcome back. Got word you found the greatest glider of all, an ark, and it's all good to go. Can't imagine how that would feel, to zoom so fast. Funny that you found an ark when you don't need to go anywhere in it. The world's still going to be here. Proud of you for thinking about helping before escaping, either way. Wonders if there are any open seats left in that fancy arc glider of yours. So, what we have here is an opportunity to help your next. There's a seat open- Why? You don't need anyone else but yourself and me, of course, but I'm a part of you, so that doesn't count. If you want to go quickly, go alone. If you want to go further, go together. The only one we'd want to get away quickly from here is darkness. But you know you can't go... <laughs> Feels thrilled to snag a seat in your arc. Can't wait to glide through the skies. <laughs> Goop knows he's repeating himself, but can't help talking to you. <laughs> Says you'll see each other later. Let's see. Smells like low tide.
Let's see. There are really rocky ridges here. There's the sovereign who runs this outpost. He didn't expect his outpost to be invaded, but now that you're working with their rival, he can see why. He would have preferred if you could have solved this without violence. At least a peaceful solution has a chance, while a violent one never has. It's their last line of defense. Once their guardian falls, they'll survive. Outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. He says you did a great job capturing the outpost. You're one step closer to ending the tribe war. Says you didn't have much of a choice. Darkness cloaks the world. Check out that motor juice station. Wonder if there's any go juice left in the juice tank. Rubber scrap got uncovered over there. You'll get there with time. 
Any kind of protection, you take it. You make that work. Climbing down is harder than climbing up. Check out that plastic scrap over there. The Netra tribe first beat this into shape. Let's see. Says they've been waiting for you to help them liberate the outpost. Just keep going while you can and don't stop until all outposts are under your control. There is a high boom team ready to help with taking over that outpost, but it seems their arc shooter is busted. Seems happy to hear the arc shooter will be dropping high booms down on the outpost quick like. The mountains are so tall, people. Get up there and get fixing.
Made it count. The arc shooters are already gearing up the high boobs. Hope their aimers are fixed too. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. He says you did a great job capturing the outpost. You're one step closer to ending the tribe war. Says you didn't have much of a choice. When it rains, it gets wet. Let's see. 